Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how I repurposed an old frontal from an old wig that I had. These are some pictures of the install and me wearing the repurposed frontal. So please stay tuned for me explaining and showing how I did this install. So I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna to try to leave out my sides and the back because I wanna be able to pull it up sometime. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different with my frontal. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we gonna try to see. Okay, okay. So in other words, my frontal is gonna cover from here to here. So that's probably about 10 inches from here to here, from temple to temple, from here to here. So I'm thinking I want my frontal to go from here to here and I wanna leave this part of my hair out. And I also wanna leave all around the back out so that if I pull it up when I'm working out and stuff, or if I want to pull it up into a bun in the back to get off my neck from the heat, because I get hot when I work out. So I just want to try it because I know this frontal is it's an old frontal and I've used it a couple times. So it's been cut a little short, you know, meaning from here to here. So it's not cut like right here. All right, so it got cut up a little half but it's still in very good condition, so I'm gonna to try to repurpose it. All right, I just gotta figure out how to modify on my head. But we're gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, so y'all can watch with me. And what I always do is section my hair off with rubber bands. Being said, I always take my, this is just what I do because of my hair, okay? And I don't care what kind of frontal I got on, I have a weird hairline. My hairline is back here and then it's low down here. So nothing ever really stays right there. Meaning if I try my best to glue it down or use some spray, it don't stay. Because my hairline is so low. And I don't really like anything right there on it no way. So, so what's the point in fighting? What's the point in keep fighting that shit? You know what I'm saying? So I don't necessarily want to put that part away. Cause it's just gonna come out in half. So she just gonna come out in half. Always do. So why fight? Why fight with Mother Nature with the inevitable because it's coming out. All right, so because my hairline is low back here and then it come down like that, so I gotta work with what I get. So, this is what I do from time to time. I don't do it, I don't install my hair like this all the time, but I do sometimes when I just feel like I don't feel like fighting with it. Cause it's just gonna come out this part of my hair it's gonna come out it's gonna come out of the braid <laughs> regardless i don't care it, it, give me give me give me a couple times of working out that shit gonna curl up and come out and ain't nothing gonna stick to nothing so i'm gonna use a band but i'm trying something a little different okay so i'm just moving the hair out of my way that i'm gonna use for leave out to help my weave look more natural, okay, for me. So like I said, I sweat real bad. <clears throat> and normally I wear curly hair, you know, when I'm working out a lot, but I just wanna put it away as much as I can instead of having all that leave out that I've been wearing for the last few months. So I like to put it away after a while. So it's time to put it away. Take a quickie looky. Looky, looky. Look, looky. Look. All right, so it's just gonna stop where I need it to. Now, let's see. Cause see, this is how I plan on wearing it behind right there. Bam, look like it might work, folks. Oh. Look like it might work for I might need to leave a little bit out right here. Right there. And a little bit more out right there. Alright. So okay. Alright. Okay. So we're gonna leave 
them pieces out. That's how you do it. Make it look natural. That's how you do it. You want to incorporate what you got with what is offering. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's why us low, low hairline ladies. The motherfucking hairline lowest beach. You know what I'm saying? You got a low hairline. I'm actually go back like a nigga right here. Look at that shit. It's all good. That's what I got to work with. Sister gonna work with it. Alright, y'all. Okay. So now we're gonna do the braid pattern. So what I like to do is since I'm gonna be wearing this, um, I know that I'm gonna need to have me a braid here on each side. I know I'm gonna need a braid here. It's gonna have to probably go like at least start about right there so I can have some anchor, okay? But the rest can start further back, meaning I'm going to part it in the middle. I'm going to part her in the center, right? Because I want it to be as flat as possible and as flat as possible. So my braids aren't going to start until I get to about right here. Because I want all this to be real flat. Okay? I don't want any humps, any lumps, any, any, I don't want any type of uh, lift from the braid at all right there. So my braids are going to start further back. Okay? And that's the way I like to do it on my hair. And I do some of my clients that way too, depending on how they wear it. Like, the braids won't start, you know, a braid ain't going to start here. The braids going to probably start back here somewhere. So it can be nice and smooth if they want to wear it up. You know, wear it smooth down. All right, so here we go. So, and what I also like to do is I like to measure before I start my braid pattern, like how far back this closure goes, this frontal goes. So, it's from here to here. So, I know my braids are going to start about up here because I need something to stitch all up in here. All right, so she stopped all right there. So I just make a part here just so I can remember, you know, where my frontal actually ends. And it's probably not exact, but it's close enough because I definitely want it to, um, I want that part. Cause I, I'm gonna put braid, a braid right there. You know, it's gonna be some braiding up in this area. It's probably gonna go like this. Cause all this is gonna be braid going like that. Like that, right? I'm just sectioning my stuff off so I can remember. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is, I am going to, actually I think what I'm gonna do, cause I got a general idea, I know where it's gonna start. I'm going to make this braid here. I'm gonna start off right here with this first braid. Because this ankle braid got to go all the way around my head on both sides all the way around. Because of the way that I'm, I plan on wearing my hair. So I got to make my ankle braid. So I'm going to go ahead and braid my hair now. Come back. Alright, so this is my braid pattern. Her daughter, her granddaughter, my sister's granddaughter. Alright, so this is the braid pattern. And I intentionally left some space here and I'm going to show you why. Okay, guys, I left this space here to let the band sit in that space. So when I attach the band to my frontal that I cut to the actual uh, width of my hair, hairline, that space is where the band goes, where the band is going to be stitched at. All right, so I have the frontal on. Now I'm going to set it. I've sewn it down. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it Melissa.
Okay. Okay, so it's uh, still a little bit wet. I set it on the dryer <clears throat> and set it a little bit. But it's still a little wet, but it's okay. So I'm gonna get started in putting the wefts in. So this is the frontal, okay? So I'm gonna hurry, let's go ahead and try to hurry to get these wefts in. Okay. Gel on this part. <clears throat> oh. Okay guys, here I'm showing you that I've added the first weft and that weft is actually under my anchor braid that goes all the way around my head. And the reason why I put that weft under that braid is so when I lift my hair up in the back, my natural hair is gonna cover the, the weft and the weft is gonna be really flat where it can go up and over the rest of the braid pattern. Here you're seeing me sectioning off hair inside of the actual frontal. The reason that I'm doing that is because I plan on adding wefts into the frontal. As I stated before, this is a repurposed frontal from an old wig. And the actual wefted hair that I'm using is Yummy's LAO um, raw hair. And that hair is 26 inches in length. This frontal is only about 18 to 20 inches. So to make that frontal match the beautiful wefted hair, I'm gonna incorporate some of that wefted hair into the frontal. So I am sectioning off where I want to stitch down those newly placed wefts, okay? This is what's gonna make the frontal blend with my wefted hair. Because as I stated, this hair is 26 inches long, so you don't want to have such a uh, disconnect between your frontal and your wefts. So here I am just installing the actual wefts into the sides of the frontal. So I hope this helps someone to uh, understand that even if your frontal is short and you have long wefts, you can still utilize that frontal if you have enough wefted hair. Just add the wefts into the frontal.